Hello, my dearest. Hello, my dearest friends. All right, today, I just want to first say, you know, I'm praying for all of the families out there that's dealing with, still dealing with the COVID-19, you know, and the deaths of the families and friends and loved ones. Uh, of course, George, you know, it's ridiculous. You know, I, I, too many people are dying at the hands of these people. And so, I'm just not one of the people that just want to keep hearing the talk, the talk, the talk. When will we ever start doing? And you know what? Everybody can yell to the top of their lungs and talk about this, that, and the other. But you got to first start with knowing how to treat yourself and each other before you can even think about standing up towards any culture or difference of color. You got to treat yourself <laughs> and get along with one another before you can talk about going against anybody goddamn else. And, and, and that's just what it is. So, but may the powers that be, uh, the soul of, his, of him, Mr. George, rest in power and the families have strength that they need to endure this 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 great pain but today we are going to cook beef steaks which i've already marinated i had them uh you know just marinating into the uh spices that i put on them y'all do know that mama wanda got that garlic on deck right and so right now what i'm doing is i am basically just frying them in some coconut oil, right? I'm frying them in some coconut oil. They are the very thin beef steaks. Okay. The very thin ones, like so. Let me show you. Come on here. So they're the very thin ones, right? So I'm just frying that down in some coconut oil. I have the garlic on deck. I have some celery right here underneath these bell peppers. And I have the white onion. So, that is what we cooking down. And so once they get like that, you're gonna take the bell peppers and put it over with the celery. I'll show y'all. And of course, that wool, of course, that garlic. Oh my God. I love fresh garlic. I love, 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 love it. One thing I've learned while cooking, see celery and garlic, you ain't even got to put no type of spices in the food. Them two ingredients alone give your goddamn food the flavor it needs. You hear what I'm telling you? It gives it the flavor it needs. So this is what I did. And so I'm going to just let that simmer down in there. All right. Now, even though I have the coconut oil, I am going to incorporate what y'all think it is. Da, 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 da. What y'all think it is. What y'all think I'm going to incorporate in there, even though I have the coconut oil. Bam. What that is. Bam, bam, bam. You're going to set that in there, okay? Now, you can put... You can put a root to this. You can very well put a root to this steak. I think I'm just going to smother them, which means I'm going to allow it to make its own gravy. And it'll just be smothered beef steaks. And I'm making some... Um organic sweet peas and hot rice on the side of that that is what we're gonna eat for dinner today all right let me say this too i wanted to thank everybody that donated to me for that laptop uh if i hadn't said it already i want to thank my diva and her husband again for even considering getting me one all right and uh what else i want to say like i said i just want the laptop that I want and the donations are appreciative but 
it wasn't enough, and I, I don't care how long it take me, I'm going to get what I want. Some might say I'm being selfish. Some might say, well, you got enough to just go get some sort of laptop. No, nope. I'm not going to purchase something I don't want. I'm going to purchase what I desire to have. And that is one of those good laptops, which is very expensive. It's like eleven, twelve hundred dollars $1,200. Yes, that's the one I want, and that's the one I'm going to get. I don't give a damn how long it take me to get it. Um, what else I want to talk about? I just want people to know, you know, we got to stop arguing and, and fussing and hooping and hollering over this fucking piece of device. I mean, what sense does it make? Honestly, tell me what sense does it make? For you to be fussing and hooping and hollering to a motherfucking piece of device. You're going to raise your pressure up. You're going to fuck all your adrenaline up. And ain't a damn thing you could do to the other person you're arguing and fussing with. It, it, it don't make sense to me. I've said it numerous of times throughout my videos. Say what you have to say. And leave it right there. You don't have to keep talking about it. And talking about it. It's not doing you a bit of fucking good. Not none. I'm not going to camera fight with motherfuckers over this internet. Uh-uh. I'm going to say it. Express it. We can even talk about it. But then after that, it's done. It is done. Most of us make ourselves look bad over this internet. We really do. Because you, you, you're hooping and hollering and you're fussing and, 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 and all this other shit. And children. It's an example. I heard a brother say, if you think because you're on this internet and you delete something, you think it's gone, it's not gone. It still remains. It's out there. Because either somebody going to motherfucking screen record it or, or snap pictures of it or whatever. They're going to do what they're going to do. But it's going to always remain on the fucking internet. And y'all don't think this shit going nowhere no, no time soon, right? So it's best that you be careful about how you handle yourself. And I know for me, I'm raw and uncut with it. But guess what? I'm not going to degrade my motherfucking cell phone here. I'm not going to, like I said again, just be arguing and fussing over the, over this phone with, with somebody. If I can't read, reach out and touch you, it don't make no fucking sense to me. It, it just don't. So, I don't have no issues with nobody. If somebody got issues with me, that's their motherfucking problem, not mine. Because I'm good over here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all talk about real life, but this is real life. When you click this fucking button, whether you're going live or you're recording on this bitch, it is real life. Y'all know the saying. Your history follows you, and it does. I am working on becoming an entrepreneur, and I'm not. Whether you think I have the character for it or not, guess what? I'm good about it. I feel good about it. You know how it goes. You know how to... It's not that you're being fake or, or phony, but there are time and places for every fucking thing. You know how to conduct yourself as a being when it comes down to, you know, handling yourself the right, in the right manner. So, I never completed... A meal as long as I've been doing this and I would love that time coming y'all that time coming I uh what I want to say I want to be able to stay on here and complete an entire meal for y'all what I do is give y'all the basic of how to make the meal but I never let y'all see the complete ending of the meal so a lot of times i go to my instagram page and i post the meal on there but 
Okay, so you're just going to basically put, once you brown it on both sides, put your onion and your bad pepper, whatever your choice, your celery and garlic. That's what I have. Onion, bad pepper, celery, and garlic over mine. Okay, and I'm going to add just a tap of water underneath that coconut oil and what you see in that skillet right there, okay? So, and it's going to make its own, it's going to make its own gravy. Whenever you're smothering something, that's basically what it does. It makes its own gravy. But I want to show y'all something, too, that I've been working on. I do a little bit of everything, y'all. Whatever is therapeutic for my mind, I just go for it. Let me show y'all what I did. I may have showed y'all this before. This is a picture I drew. It's just the African queen, a melanin queen. I drew this. Now, I'm not an artist, y'all, but it, this is just something I do for my past time sometimes. This is a lotus flower, which is beautiful. I did that one. I'm working on this here. This is just one that I'm expressing my journey on. Just basically expressing my feelings on this one here, okay? And this one here... Is actually a picture of my son production that he's going to build when he comes out of being incarcerated this is an island he goes by the name of young island so this is one picture that I incorporated and this here you guys is one that I drew that I consider a waterfall Mm-hmm. So again, I'm not an artist, but it's just it's very therapeutic when you have nothing to do and you just want to find your me time. You just take and do something that will help uh that will help your mind stay on a positive uh on positive thoughts. I think I'm gonna paint again today. So that is what I'm doing. So yeah, y'all. I can't wait. Y'all just don't. And, and I've, I've tried this scream yard shit that everybody talking about. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I, I'm obviously not doing something right because I can't get on live with that. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I know I ain't doing something right. I ain't taking my time and reading that shit or something. So now we're going to start these organic peas. I already have the hot rice cooked. I got that already cooked up and nice and, ooh. Ooh, that rice is nice and hot. Mm-hmm. So you got the nice hot rice. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's for the hot sweet peas. I have to take and put let me see if i can sit this right here for a minute because i need to put it on the charger but i'm going to put some butter in the pot this is for the, the peas y'all the rest of the little garlic uh-huh put all that in there i'm going to put the onions the white onions Even have the fire on y'all. How you like that? All right. I'm gonna put the rest of the onions in here for the peas. So you know, you just let those onions and sweet peas. I mean, those onions and that garlic fry down a little bit, and then I'm gonna add the organic sweet peas into that and let that cook down again. That beef steak, some sweet peas, over some hot rice, get your ass a cup of Kool-Aid or whatever you want to drink and eat your dinner and be merry. And that is what we doing in here today. There y'all go. There y'all go. Right there and right there. Butter, onion, and garlic. Four. 
what they call organic sweet peas, okay? But we know anything in a goddamn can, that shit ain't organic. I, I just don't believe. So we're going to do these here. The great value, all right? We're going to do these here. We're going to do one can. And we're going to do another can. Right here, okay? Pickled and packed, same deal. Okay, this is what we're going to do. So, y'all got that? Hot rice, sweet peas, and some beef steak. That's what's going to be for dinner today. Now, y'all already know I got to clean up my mess. I just wanted to come on here and show my face. I know it's been quite a while. Y'all be looking out for that bar of soap that I'm going to be creating. Uh, they're gonna, I'm going to pack all of my... Uh, soap and stuff in my burlock bags. I'm going to give y'all a little sneak peek of some stuff. So here's the burlock bags that came in. Alright, for my soap, I also have my wax here. You know, so I'm getting Mama Wanda getting it together over here, okay? I'm trying to do some shit. Alright, so I got my fragrance and my scale. All of the things that I need to Incorporate in my soap is on the way, and it's all gonna be natural and raw stuff. I'm not using no type of preserves. Y'all gonna have some great soap that can make you feel good once you finish using it, whether it's just on your face or your entire body. I know y'all can see Mama Wanda ain't got no bad looking skin. Oh no, baby. Uh-uh, baby, because I be doing, you know what I'm saying? I be using my different... Y'all checking out my Rastafora hair and stuff? I be doing all that type of shit. Mm-hmm. Whatever I feel, baby, I just do. So, let me show y'all. We got that. See how that onion and garlic and butter and stuff is cooking down up in there? So, when it get to this point, this when you want to drop your peas in there. That's when you want to drop your sweet peas up in there. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I encourage y'all to subscribe to the channel, uh, like the videos that you see me put, and leave a comment. Even if you just put a hand up there, say hi. Shirley Caesar said it's nice to be nice. So we got to start living by that. Let's just be nice to one another. Let's just be nice to one another, okay? What is it, son? Uh, huh? Do what? We need to go where? On a train. On a train? For what? Uh-huh, what about it? That's why you want to go? Well, that's why Grammy trying to... Well, that's why Grammy trying to make some things happen for us. So I can bring y'all places and do nice things with y'all and let y'all... Yeah, when, when Grammy get a call, she will. All right. Y'all do know what I put in my uh, food. Same season. If you look back on my videos, you'll see. And I damn near cook with all, everything with this turmeric. Everything. I put that in every damn thing. Yes, I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm dropping that in the peas, y'all. Which was already marinated on the uh, the beef steaks, okay? All of that. Let me see which other one I'm gonna use. Okay, this one. Can y'all see that? Mm -hmm. I use some pretty decent spices, and my food tastes delicious. It really, really, really do. It really do. Okay, I'm gonna add a little black pepper. 
a little black pepper. Yep, that's what I'm going to do, y'all. I'm going to add me a little bam bam. All of that, I told y'all before, I'm damn near, I know I got some Creole going on in my blood. Because, baby, I cook, I, I am a Creole cooker. All right? We're going to do this here. Yeah, all that in the sweet peas. Uh-huh. Yeah, all that. Because everything you eat from me, it's going to have flavor, okay? Everything you eat from me, from Mama Mama, is going to have flavor, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. And a, just a little bit of basil. Oh, yeah, baby. And then we're going to pop it off like that. And we're going to put one little, just a tab of this. Just a tab, okay? Because sweet peas, we want them to be a little sweet. That's the purpose of them being called sweet peas. So, so there y'all have it, all right? Turn this rice off. Because it is hot and right. Check out my love. Check out my uh my beef steaks right here. Let me just show y'all what it's looking like. Okay, there you have it. And you just let that cook down. Again, y'all could put a root to this and have a brown gravy. But Mama Wanda ain't doing that today. Today we ain't doing no root. Not today, baby. Not today, you heard me, baby. Oh, no, baby. Not today, not today. So now I could go sit on my ass and prepare to do something else while everything cooking down, you heard me? Yeah. So again, you people, Y'all be encouraged. Keep no, keep the bad negativity, you know, keep it out of your life. Uh-huh. No negativity. Yeah, keep that out your life. And your day, your day gonna go good. I promise you your day gonna go good. If you just stick around, some people that's talking some good shit, you gonna be all right. We're gonna keep be all right, baby. I'm just cleaning up my mess, y'all. I'm gonna get off of here because my phone needs to be charged, and I can't bring y'all all around with the phone because it needs to stay on the goddamn charger. All right. I'm going to be coming to y'all live soon enough. Trust me, I am. Thank everybody once again for donating. Uh, um, what else? Y'all stay prayerful, prayerful, and please just do what's right. And stop all of the, be an example. Whatever you want to leave as an influence on people, please be that example. You want motherfuckers to see you hooping and hollering all day and fussing and all this kind of shit? Keep doing it. Do that your perfection. But if you want somebody to see you for truly who you are as being humble and loving and caring, well, then that's what you got to project. You got to have people to see that. And that's what it's going to be. You understand? Just cleaning up my mess, y'all. That's what I'm doing. Wiping everything down. You know you got to keep wiping that stool when there's stuff popping all about. Everything popping all over. You wipe your little counter down and get your little dishes out the way. And then you can sit and chill outside listening at the birds. Or you can grab a paintbrush and start just painting. And God knows 
I know I ain't no painter, but I think I do pretty good for the sea. It's my first time at doing those type of things, you know. And I, I, I try to be as crafty as possible with my hands. Yep. So, I'm going to wash these little few dishes, y'all. Be encouraged. Please encourage somebody else on today. And let's just start doing and stop talking. How about that? Can we just start being active in a good way? Can we just do that? So y'all keep following me. Well, not so much following me, but keep tuning into my little videos. Like, subscribe. And if you want, you could even share. This a real ass OG, you know what I'm saying? Trying to do our thing, trying to do whatever fucking body else doing, trying to make a living. I'm really trying to, you know, do some shit for these grandchildren. All right? Mm-hmm. So, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And if you want to, go right ahead and share. I'm going back there and wash them few dishes y'all see back there. And until next time, be encouraged.